Today what I'm doing is it's a small quilt. Uh, I'm doing edge to edge because the borders are only two and a half inches wide. And sometimes I feel like it's more work to factor in a small border than it is to uh, just do edge to edge. Small borders tend to wobble a bit, so it's easier to, to do edge to edge. Even with that, I come in about a half an inch from each side because that enables me to uh, have the pattern start about a quarter inch in from where the, everybody has straightened their quilts and put their binding on. I like to have it so that the pattern doesn't run into the binding or under the binding. Um, a lot of quilters will just run it right off the edges of the quilt and then trim it to fit. I don't like to do that because I feel like that leaves an awful lot of cut ends just underneath your binding and I feel like that with multiple washings can start to wear out. And the last thing you want is somebody's quilt to start coming unquilted. So this is butterflies and loops and there are butterflies on the quilt so that made it kind of an appropriate one. It's kind of a large pattern. Usually it's about 10 to 12 inches. So it goes a little bit slowly because the butterflies are quite intricate, but you see how it speeds up on those loops. So it does take a bit longer to do a pattern like this because it does have that intricate little butterfly in it. I used a polysheen thread, top and bottom. This time I used a beige on the bottom. Often I use the same color top and bottom, but because the background is kind of a beige with a flower on it, I didn't want to use uh, purple thread on it. So as I mentioned, we do cut the, the thread um, ends to about three inches and bury them in the layers between the batting and the top and bottom, and then just bring them back up to the top and cut them off. And that way they're, they have to migrate quite a distance through to come back out to the top of the quilt. It really makes a more secure finish. Even though the machine does do about 10 small stitches when it starts and when it stops, I still like to bury that, that thread. This is an Irish chain, which is a very pretty pattern, very common, commonly used in quilting. It's very traditional, but works up really quickly. It doesn't take a lot of fabric for your coordinates, which is nice. So if you have a small bit of fabric that you really want to use, that's pretty. You can use it in the chain, like this done here. And then the um, background fabric tends to be like a, a white or an off-white, tone on tone cream, something that you probably have meters and meters of. So it, it really, uh, it's a great way to use up everything that you've got in your stash. And the contrast is really nice too. It's a very pretty contrast. So this quilt top again is floated. I haven't pinned the top down. We just pin the backing, put the batting on, and then the quilt top floats on the top. On a smaller quilt, it's really simple to do it this way. And that way when you take it off the frame, I have a tendency to uh, tie it a bit tight when I tie the top down. So sometimes it pops a bit. That's why I can't knit. take about 15 minutes for this to pass across 44 inches but it is four pattern repeats top to bottom I like to leave about two inches and then on the top I bring it up to like an inch and a half so the bottom has a little bit extra because it, it does tend to roll up the top tends to, to get a little bit shorter somehow so we like to leave a little more space at the bottom. When I get to the last row, I program it by putting in the, um, finding a stitch place on the last row for the machine to orientate itself and then it counts its steps and moves to the first position of the next row. While it's doing its calculation, I will move the machine around and looking at the screen, you can see exactly where it's hitting. So you can see if it's too close to the bottom edge or you're leaving too much space at the bottom at which point you can make your adjustment in your pattern size. It's very slight. Usually it's the most is about a quarter inch. Polysheen thread, top and bottom. Uh, different colors this time because the back is quite beige. Very light purple in the top.
and of course an SUK needle, which I always use. It's the um, Jersey Ballpoint. It tends to separate the fabric fibers rather than cutting through them. And the foot that came with the machine. Now, at some point, I was using a um, concave foot, but the problem with that is it was great when you're going over applique, but it allowed the um, thread to flag a little bit so you would get some gaps and misses. So basically the foot that comes with the machine, simple as best, it presses it down just right and it's all part of the process. So. The two BSRs, you can see them both lit up under here. With a light fabric like this, you can really see those BSRs go. Okay, so the machine has moved off the frame and uh, that basically is quilting butterflies and loops on a um, little butterfly quilt.